there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Jeez! Oh, <laughs> oh, you look absolutely so gorgeous. Oh, that a beautiful service. Yeah, it's just a shame about all those mobile phones going off. Does anybody else think that priest has a look at Daniel O'Donnell? <laughs> <laughs> I always thought our Jeremy would make a lovely priest. Oh, what, him? Yeah, he hasn't been inside a church since his own Holy Communion. I have. Ah, I only mean because he's always been such a sensitive little soul, hasn't he? Yeah, what do you reckon, son? I think you can handle giving up the girls and spending the rest of your life in a frock. <laughs> We're going on, what? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> What are you doing up here on your own? <laughs> oh, don't be such a misery. Come on. Things are really livening up downstairs. Coach playing air guitar. Don't be starting this again. I've not slept. Jamie. It's not my fault you were playing Amy Winehouse till three this morning. Please, Mum. Look, I'll even help you tidy up. Just get your uniform on.
hello. Hiya, love. How was your day? Same as usual. Don't lie to me. What? You never went in. I've had the school on the phone. What's going on, Jamie? This isn't like you. I didn't want to do games, that's all. Why not? Because I hate it. Look, it, I won't be a hypocrite. I couldn't stand pee myself, but you can't just go bunking off school whenever you feel like it. And where have you been all day? Anything could have happened to you. It was a one-off. I won't do it again. Uh, where, where do you think you're going? To my room. Yeah? Well, you can stay there and you're grounded for the rest of the week. Uh, hang on a sec. Come here. Come here. What's happened to your blazer? I caught it on a fence. You caught it? It looks like you've gone ten rounds with Ricky Hatton. Just get it here. You've only had this a few weeks. Look at the state of it. It was an accident. I'm sorry, you're right. Jamie. Jamie! Tea. You left your phone downstairs. Thanks. Jamie. What? Is everything all right? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Bunking off school, coming home with your blazer ripped. Are you being bullied? No. You sure? Mum, why do you have to turn everything into some big drama? OK, sorry. No need to get defensive. <laughs> You're late. Where are the kids? Katie's gone to Joy's. Her tea and Jamie's upstairs. I'm going to jump in the shower. Uh, no, I need a word first. Can't it wait? No, it can't. It's Jamie. What about him? I think he's getting bullied. I had a call from the school this morning saying he didn't go in today, and then he gets home and his blazer's all ripped, and I find tissues in his pocket covered in blood. He's probably just been in a fight. Just? Well, that's that age you're always scrapping. Doesn't mean he's getting bullied. Well, then, well, how do you explain the message left on his phone? I mean, yeah, all right, I shouldn't have listened, but I j just had this feeling. It was a gang of lads, and they, and they were shouting all kinds of vile abuse. I can't even say some of the words they were using. What like? They were basically saying he was gay. <laughs> if I could get my hands on them. Hey, 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 come on. Don't go getting yourself all upset. Now, you know what kids that age are like. They'll be picking on someone else tomorrow. But what if there's more to it? Look, we've all been picked on at school got into fights. It's just part of life. It toughens you up. I don't send my son to school to be toughened up. I'm gonna make an appointment with the head tomorrow. Don't get involved. You'll just make things worse. How? Look, just let Jamie fight his own battles. Otherwise he will end up turning into some big wimp. <laughs> I'm getting a shower. Mm. Just drop me at the bus stop. I'll be fine. What? So you can go away well again? I won't. Honest.
Everything's all right at school, isn't it? Yeah. Look, I know you think I'm ancient, but I do remember what it's like, you know. Kids get to your age and all they're bothered about is proving how hard they are. When I was your age, the cock of our year was this kid called Frank Bryce. Nasty little gay he was, and at least a foot taller than me. Everyone was terrified of him. One day, totally out of the blue, he offered me out for a fight after school. Spread like wildfire, there was going to be this massive scrap on the playing fields. I was bricking myself all day. Now, he only singled me out because he thought I didn't stand a chance. That's how bullies operate. Anyway, that afternoon, virtually every kid in the school was on that playing field. All I wanted to see him knock seven bells out of me. What happened? And I was... I just wanted to do a runner. Never come back, you know? But I knew that wouldn't solve anything. So before Bryce had a chance to start, do you know what I did? I jumped up and headbutted him, square on the nose. Knocked him right to the ground. <laughs> he was just lying there, totally stunned, with his blood running down his face. Next thing, everyone's cheering. I'd suddenly become a hero. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you only have to stand up to these bullies once. Show me not a soft touch, and I can guarantee they won't come near you again. After hearing that message, I just couldn't sit back and do nothing. Mm. Have you still got it? No, I, I deleted it. It was on Jamie's phone and I just couldn't bear the thought of him hearing it. Mm. Have you discussed it with him? Well, not the message, no, but I, I did ask him if he was being bullied. And? He denied it. But you don't believe him. Well, he's, he's bound to deny it, isn't he? I mean, it's one thing being picked on for being overweight or having red hair, but this is... He's such a sensitive kid. I mean, he isn't a fighter. It's just not in his nature. And I can see why he'd become a target. Well, I can assure you that we have comprehensive anti-bullying and child protection policies in place. They state very clearly that no child should have to endure any form of verbal or physical aggression. Anyone found to be in breach of our code of conduct will be warned and, if necessary, punished. I'm just shocked that kids still think it's okay to use that kind of language. And Jamie's only 15. I mean, who knows what he's going to be when he grows up? Well, I think it's uh, widely acknowledged these days that though some children of a certain age do have issues surrounding their sexual identity, it can be seen as a normal part of adolescence. But with the right guidance and support, it's something that the vast majority of them will grow out of. And what about the ones who don't? How do you go about protecting them? As I'm sure you're aware, this school has a very proud Christian tradition dating back to 1849, which is precisely why so many parents, like yourself, choose to send their children here. It is our goal to ensure that all of our students are prepared for life, academically, spiritually, socially, and morally. Well, with all due respect, Mr. Georgeson, after hearing that message, I'd say that some of them aren't prepared at all. Uh, and I can promise you that I won't allow a handful of boys to tarnish the excellent reputation of this school. But only last term, our Year 11 students made this a record year. 83% getting five or more GCSEs, 8% increase on the previous year. I'm not disputing any of that. That's not why I'm here. If this was a, a case of racism, then I'm sure you'd be down on them like a ton of bricks. You'd be doing all sorts of workshops and courses and whatnot. I don't see why this should be treated any differently. We are seriously committed to eradicating 
all forms of bullying. But as I'm sure you'll appreciate, we also have a moral obligation to achieve this in a sensitive manner, which is in accordance with the teachings of the Catholic faith. Change from Marion Keys tonight, did you? Can't stop thinking about what the head said, that's all. I mean, listen to this. Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexual offenders, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. Sounds like we're all doomed. Might as well just enjoy ourselves. It's funny, isn't it, how you go through life just accepting it all, never questioning any of it? Speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, I know you're a big cynic, but I reckon you still believe deep down. Nah. If you ask me, God's a bit like Father Christmas for grown-ups. <laughs> you know he doesn't really exist, but part of you wants to keep on believing anyway. <laughs> mm. Try not to lose any sleep over all this, love. If Jamie really was in trouble, I'm sure he'd tell us. Hmm. Kids have been calling each other horrible names ever since the beginning of time. It was exactly the same when I was at that school. I remember one poor lad in our year. Camp as Christmas he was. Everyone made his life a misery. Got so bad his mother had to take him out of school. Do when you say everyone? You as well? well? Yeah, we didn't have a choice. What do you mean? Well, you're terrified that if you didn't join in, they might turn their attention to you. Well, so you just went along with it? Well, I was only a kid. Well, that's no excuse. Oh, come on, you're hardly an angel yourself at school. I never bullied anyone. But you didn't actually see it as bullying at the time. It was just a laugh. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sure the kid that you were all picking on, I'm sure he was splitting his sides. You know, I don't get it. Why is it the lads are so threatened by someone that they think is gay? Well, then. You suddenly hit puberty and don't know whether you're coming or going. Honestly, I believe most lads that age would go with anything if they thought they could get away with it. They can't admit that. So they single out someone else instead, deflect all their own insecurities onto them. Anyone who's a bit different will do. Just lash out to prove that they're normal. Is that what you did? I'm starting to wish I never opened my gun. Oh, come on, I'm interested. You know, some poor kid is taken out of school because his life isn't worth living. I'd like to know what part you played in it. Well, did you just call him names? Hit him? Beat him up? Oh. Don't turn your back on me. Well, I thought you were better than that, that's all. It was a long time ago. I was just a kid. Yeah, well, I'm not proud. God help our Jamie. If everyone in this school is as spineless as you are. Do you not think you're blowing all this out of proportion? Even if he has been made a scapegoat, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean he's actually gay. And what if he is? Would you love him any less? All right, I won't lie. I'd be gutted. What dad wouldn't be? Jamie! I'm 
going now. We can have our breakfast. I'm not hungry. Well, if you just hang on for a second, then your dad can give you a lift. That's all right. dropping Katie. I'd rather get the bus. Mum? Mm. You don't have to worry about me, you know. I'm going to be fine. Come on then, Dolly Day Jean. We're having you. Come. Right, you have a lovely day. Mm -hmm. Be a good girl. Hello. Where's Michael? Oh, you're not still in the mood about last night, are you? Oh, come on, it's ridiculous. You can't punish me for something I did when I was a kid. Joe. and happiness they deserve. Oh, 
father. Yes. What's happened? Do you really want me or your dad to come home tonight and find you dead? Is that, is that what you really want? Is it? I'm sorry. What could possibly be so terrible that you would want to take your own life? I just... I couldn't handle it anymore. Handle what, son? Come on, you can tell us. Everything. Can I ask you a question? Are you gay? If I'm being completely honest, I've always known. I think we both did, really. Ever since he was a little boy. I could never put our finger on exactly what it was, but we knew he was different. And what did we do? We just buried our heads in the sand and pretended we hadn't noticed anything. Can you imagine how lonely that must have made him feel? And then, to top it all, we put him in a school that believes being gay is a sin. I wonder he wanted to end it. Does it bother you? Well, it's a simple enough question, Dave. What would you prefer, a gay son or a dead son? What do you think? Then you've got to tell him. He needs to know that you love him no matter what. Must have been a 
terrible shock. For both of you. After our last meeting, I informed Jamie's form teacher and other members of staff of the situation so we could keep a special lookout for him. But because Jamie didn't feel able to speak to us directly, there was very little else that we could do. He didn't feel he could talk to anyone because he's being picked on for being gay. I mean, how could he possibly believe that anyone would understand when this school teaches that it's wrong? You know, my husband came to this school 20 years ago. He said it was exactly the same then. He said that if you were singled out for being gay, then your life wasn't worth living. Well, I can't comment on something that happened so long ago. But we've made great progress since then. Mr. Shaw, I'm appalled by what has happened to Jamie. And I give you my personal guarantee. I won't rest until the boys responsible have been named and punished. You're dishing up punishments all very well, but it's, it's not going to change attitudes. So if you're really serious about stamping this out for good, then you have to teach these kids that, that being gay doesn't make you any better or worse than anybody else. Mr. Shaw, I can assure you that I find all forms of prejudice totally repugnant. But at the same time, this school could never be seen to be advocating homosexuality any more than it would sex outside of marriage or abortion. If it did, the majority of our parents here would be up in arms. Well, if the parents are so ignorant, then is it any wonder that their kids turn out to be such narrow-minded little thugs? I appreciate this is a very divisive issue. But there are fundamental principles at stake here. Like it or not, the Bible is very clear about the consequences for those who choose a homosexual lifestyle. Choose? You don't choose your sexuality. The only thing you might choose is to hide it. You know, I may not be the most educated person on this earth, but you don't need a degree to work that one out. What well, same person would choose that, to, to be bullied and, and persecuted on a daily basis so that you think the only thing, the only option that you have is to commit? Yeah, I understand. You're angry and upset. Angry? My son would rather take his own life than face coming back to this school and you sit there and you tell me that nothing's going to change. Mrs. Shaw, speak to Jamie. Get him to name the boys responsible and I promise you they will be dealt with most severely. Son, father. I think he might be gay. In fact, I don't think I know who he is. How old is he? Fifteen. They grow up quickly these days. <sighs> How do you feel about it? Fine. I just want him to be happy. It's not really me that I'm worried about. Uh, it's, it's him. <sighs> I suppose what I really want to know is, do you think there'll still be a place for him in heaven if he is? Is he a good lad? Father, I, I couldn't hope to have a more caring and thoughtful son. Then I'm pretty sure you'll get nothing to worry about. Let's face it, there's plenty of worse things he could be. I'd guess your son was the least of his worries. But isn't it a sin? Let he who is without sin cast the first stone.
okay. It's feeling a bit stupid, that's all. Why do you let things go so far? If only you told us it had got so bad, we could have done something. I do understand, you know. I went to that school myself. I saw firsthand what it's like for kids who are picked on for being different in some way. I was hardly an angel myself, you know. When I look back, think about some of the stuff I did, I can't say it makes me proud. What do you mean? It's easier to pick on someone you weren't scared of, someone you knew wouldn't fight back. I was nothing but a coward. But I bet you one thing, these lads would be making your life hell. They'll grow up. Maybe have kids of their own one day. Then they'll look back, think about how they treated you, and they'll feel as ashamed as I do. You're braver than the whole lot of them put together, and I could not be more proud. I really mean that. Come on, let's get you inside. No living mortal has the right to pass judgment on another human being. Nobody's perfect. Not even me. <laughs> what about the Bible? I mean, the stuff that I've read made it pretty clear. Well, the Bible's pretty clear about a lot of things. The real sinners in my book are those that cherry-pick those parts of the gospel to suit their own prejudices. It's not so long ago, a parishioner would be excommunicated for being married to someone of a different faith, having a child at wedlock, getting divorced. If that were still the case, oh, Jesus. I'd, I'd have to turn away half the parish. But you don't think it really matters? Well, let's just say me and Rome don't exactly see eye to eye on this one. How do you mean? Well, I personally find it impossible to believe that the God I've devoted my life to would turn us back on anyone for just being true to themselves. See Mr. Georgeson this morning. He told me that everybody had been praying for you. What? Praying that I don't pull through? Don't say that. He wants to help Jamie, but he can only do that if you name the boys that drove you to do this. Now, I know you're scared, I know. And we'll do everything we can to make sure this doesn't come back on you. I can't give you any names. Why not? Because we're not talking about one person or a couple of lads. Jamie. You don't understand, it was virtually every person in the school. Well, why didn't you tell one of your teachers? <gasps> you think they didn't already know? Mum, I want you to promise me. Promise me that you will never send me back to that school again. Mr. Georgeson? Mr. Georgeson? Are you sure? Have a word. How's Jamie? He's much better now. I'm very pleased to hear that. Uh, I... I did what you said. I... Asked him for names, and uh, he told me. He told me that virtually every pupil in this school has verbally or physically abused him at some point. Are you proud that your school sends out into this world young men that think it's acceptable to persecute someone for being gay? <laughs> How much longer are you going to carry on turning a blind eye, allowing this to go on? Why don't you come inside and make an appointment with my secretary? Oh, what's the point? I mean, it's obvious I'll be wasting my breath. Well, I'm sorry if that's how you feel. Now I'm afraid I've got a meeting to go to. 
They used to force kids to write with a right hand, didn't they? I'm sorry. Well, it wasn't that long ago that intelligent, educated men like yourself used to think it was the right thing to do to force people to be exactly the same. And we think of that now, we think it's ridiculous because people aren't the same, are they? <laughs> this is no different. Not every single pupil in the school will grow up and become straight. And you're doing them a major disservice by teaching them that. In fact, it's tantamount to child abuse. I really think that we should leave it there. Tell me, Mr. Georgeson, what would you do if one of your children came home and said they were gay? Mrs. Shaw. Come on now, it's a simple enough question. Would you turn your back on them? No. I would give them all the support that they needed, using the wisdom of my faith, to help them back onto the proper track. And what if they were already on it? I really have to go. You're not the only one with a strong faith, Mr. Georgeson. Only I'm not really convinced that we believe in the same God, because my God would never turn his back on anyone. His love isn't conditional. It's not based on prejudice or hatred. And if that's your view of what a Christian is, then I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can take your precious school and you can shove it because I wouldn't allow my son back here in a million years. I am now. Did you see him? Mm hmm. What did you say? Oh, I'll put it this way you'll never have to see this place again. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Maybe if I had a guiding light, maybe if I'd taken some advice. Maybe I could have turned around my life Oh, no one knows Maybe I was born too innocent Maybe I was warned by certain friends 